We want to thank everybody for coming today, first of all. Um, this is great support for the last uh, thing of the season. Uh, I want to do my thank yous first to Stu and Wendy, obviously. Uh, all this will be possible without them. Uh, Keith and Diane McKenzie, who aren't here. Uh, Teddy Brown with the uh, cover relations and marketing for the team. Uh, Jerry Hale with the uh, work with the paper. Uh, Wayne McCormick with the work with the uh, kids and organizations. Um, Carol Barakos, statistician. Um, Julie and John for their uh, pictures. Always appreciate it. Uh, Steve Kroll, same as Matt. He also drafted me here and he had a gaming opportunity to play. Uh, Steve and Chip. First of all, Steve for your main chirps for the last three years. But it took to the heart all the time. <laughs> but uh, he was also uh, this year very positive on the bench. And uh, he had a bad shift. He was always there to get paddled back and say, keep going. Uh, Chip uh, gave me a headache this year. Broke so many sticks and wanted to change curves, flexes, colors, whatever. <laughs> Chip was always there to give me one that I wanted. Um, first up, Mike, just simply for being Mike. Um, Carver, who Matt also said could uh, most intense guy I know. You can bench press anybody in here. Um, Fuge, probably the best coach in the league. Um, he's positive, has great green speeches that sometimes we. Know what he means. <laughs> <laughs> um, coach, uh, just, you know, he everybody says it, but he, he deserves respect um, and he gets it from everybody. Right, not just on our team, but I think around the league. Um, he's one of the most knowledgeable guys I've ever talked to about hockey or anything, you know. Whatever you know, whatever he knows, you kind of take away from it. Um, and the confidence he has behind the bench. Uh, going into a game, the coach isn't there. We had one this year and it was a little bit of a rocky road. I think everybody remembers that. But uh, when he's there, you have that confidence on the bench. That's, uh, that's awesome. Um, my grandmother, um, she was my fellow this season. Uh, the last three seasons, actually. And I don't think a lot of junior hockey players have the luxury of living with uh, their grandmother <laughs> during their junior <laughs> hockey career. But uh, I, I definitely had that. And I know a lot of the boys, uh, they enjoyed her too, but she always had her piece to say about everybody that was on the team. <laughs> but of course, I always played amazing, so. <laughs> um, but thank you, Mimi, as I call her. Um, uh, my parents, uh, they've always had a positive influence on my life, not only in hockey, but um, in life, as I said. Um, this season, uh, they attended as many games as they could. Uh, it was always good to see Dad there in the stands. I know Mom was there at home, all the home games. Um, there was always positive criticism, but always negative criticism that I took. It was good sometimes, I guess. But, um, I, everything, everything I have to this point in my life, I guess I have to owe to them. They, they're definitely a very positive influence and uh, great people. So, uh, last of the boys, I want to apologize first of all for anybody who gave me a breakaway pass this season. <laughs> uh, I probably sneaked you about five or six apples that you could have had, but I apologize for that. Um, good luck next year to everybody that's coming back. Um, it's a big opportunity and I hope you guys uh, take it seriously and really go with it. And in the 20s, I want everybody to stay in touch. And um, best of luck in the future.